Pisces, hello my lovelies. Let's look into your month ahead for February of 2021. It's hard for me to remember to say 2021 and not 2020 anymore, but <laughs> I remembered it this time. I'm Michelle B and I create tarot readings for passionate women and feminine individuals who like to who want to live a life of exciting purpose, abundant prosperity, and beautiful romantic love with yourself first and in connection with another person if that's what you desire. And I call this my triad of awesomeness. These are my favorite, my three favorite subjects. <laughs> and that's what I really like to focus on when I'm going forward with these readings. First, I wanna look at what to leave, what to embrace for the month ahead and what to leave behind. And this is going to set the tone for the rest of the reading as I look into that triad of awesomeness, purpose, prosperity, and love. So what I do is I do like a, a quick once over of what to consider going forward in this month to bring yourself up to another a higher level in those three aspects of life. And then if you want to go deeper into the comprehensive, I will have a link in the description box below this video so that you can find out more about those three aspects if there's something that you're like, I, I'm dying to know a little bit more about what to consider with that. So let's go first with what to embrace and what to leave behind for Pisces. What to embrace and what to leave behind for Pisces. What to embrace. What's the first card that we have for Pisces? Are you being, getting any volunteers here? Are you kind of getting stuck here? What's going on? There we go. Ooh, I love this. So I like this. I equate the, the, uh, I want to call her the Queen of Pentacles, but she's not. She's the Mistress of the Vineyard, the Nine of Pentacles. And I really, I associate her so much with Virgo, which is your opposite in, the, in your astrological axis. She watches out for all the details. She's the manager. She makes, makes sure every detail gets taken care of, but she's not necessarily taking care of the details all herself. Instead, she points. <laughs> she points and she knows who has the skills, who has the abilities, who has the desires to accomplish the things that need to be taken care of. She knows what needs to be done. So, Pisces, for what to embrace for your month ahead? Embrace the details and know that you don't have to take care of all the details all by yourself. Let's look at what to leave behind. There we go. What to leave behind. Commitment? <laughs> What's up with that? Leave behind commitment, leave behind the passion, the excitement. Well, you know what? You know what I'm thinking? This is this is leaning toward is embrace the idea or sorry, at release, surrender the idea that you know everything. <laughs> surrender the idea that you know what your future is going to look like. So you like you had these these ideals set this down real quick. You had these ideals, which what you thought was your future was going to hold, what you thought things were, were going to look like uh, in your future ahead. And it's not necessarily working out exactly the way that you thought. So, so for myself, I am a Pisces rising and I have all of these like beautiful rosy visions of romance and experience and deep connections and sometimes the fantasy doesn't fit the reality of the things that are happening around me and I can sometimes I get so caught up in the fantasy that I like lose touch with what's what's real what's real ha really happening and what I think the de the deck is trying to get through to you is that there are some mundane details that need to be managed, but you don't have to be in the masculine place to make them happen. You don't have to wait for somebody else to make them happen for you either. There is a feminine way. You notice that the mistress of the, of the vineyard, that's the detail person, it's not a man. The mistress is a woman. <laughs> the manager is a woman because she uses her feminine collaboration skills to watch out for those for those details to make to make things happen 
So you can, you can ride that balance between accomplishing the things that you want to see in your future yourself, not waiting for someone, some like masculine energy to do it for you. You can do it, but you just have to know who is really, really good at taking care of this, the things. Know what you're really good at and know what other people are really good at. <laughs> Am I get, placing this nicely so that you can see it very well? Yeah, know what you are good, really good at, know what other people are really good at, but really get real. <laughs> really get real about how that's going to be accomplished. Don't be a princess waiting for somebody else to do it for you. Because what ends up happening is that you, you get disillusioned and then you give up. And one of the most beautiful things about Pisces is their imagination, their fantasy in... Um, Creating, creating a reality that's not there yet. Believing in it in such, believing, it, believing in it with such feeling and emotion that it becomes reality. Now it's just a matter of pointing to the right people to do the work. Now let's look at those three aspects that I talked about. Purpose prosperity and love and see how what you're embracing and what you're leaving behind is going to affect each of those things. Let me just have a little quick drink of my beverage. Mm. Get myself, get my head right for going forward here. So really interesting start for you Pisces. Let's look at your purpose. This is how you present yourself to the world, how you see yourself in the long run when it doesn't really when it's like we set aside all the money, right? We imagine that we're that we're billionaires and we can have anything we want anytime we want. How do we imagine ourselves presenting to the world? I'm going to take this one on the top. Wow, we've got the 8 of pentacles here, but it's in reverse. And so what I'm seeing, Pisces, when it comes to the manifestation of what you want to see for yourself, how you see your lifestyle going forward in the future, you're like, how do I get to the things that I want without having to work hard, without it being so like so boring and mundane? The, the details of it all are just too much for me because... You know, in the upright, the Eight of Pentacles is all about watching those details and making sure that your work is just so perfectly executed, perfectly planned, perfectly executed, and every detail is noticed. And it's like, it can seem to be like a little just too boring. Could get somebody else do that. Well, somebody else can do that. Some, somebody else can, but you have to find the right person and then it becomes easy and fun and you get in the flow. So I, I'm really feeling like when it comes to the things that you're imagining yourself doing, Pisces, you're feeling like it's, it just, all the work just seems to be too much to get to the place where you really want to be. And you're really hoping that somebody else can jump in and take care of it for you. Let's get a couple of clarification cards to just look a little bit deeper into that and um, consider... You know, we're, we're also looking a little bit into the comprehensive to go a little bit deeper. I definitely wanted this guy. He slipped a little bit. There's that collaboration. Oh, we got a lot of pentacles coming out when it's coming to your purpose, when it comes to your purpose. And there's the empress. So, yeah, I'm just, the, the cards are really pointing to, they're really pointing to this feminine, um, this feminine creativity and prosperity, this drive that you have that's deep inside you, but you don't know how to get to it because you're waiting for somebody else to tell you that it's there. You're waiting for somebody else to like prop you up, to give you the chance. But it, the, all the, all the, it's all inside of you already. That's why the Empress is here. And then there's this like, when... The Three of Pentacles, it's representing collaboration and building the foundation. So between the Nine and the Three of Pentacles, there's there's this illusion, illusion, not illusion, illusion to being able to connect with like-minded individuals 
that want to work on creating something together. But you're like, but I don't feel like I'm, I've got the, I don't feel like I've got the, like I'm inadequate. I feel like I'm inadequate. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't have a lot of experience in this, in this field. Therefore, no one's going to listen to me. Who, who am I to bring up, to bring up these suggestions, to bring up these ideas? You are you, Pisces, and you have a beautiful imagination. You can imagine some really cool stuff. It's just, you, you just don't know how to do it all by yourself. Of course you don't. Because the idea is to bring other people into it and get their feedback. We're going to go into f further depth in, into this in the, in the extended uh, comprehensive reading about getting some real tangible steps going forward when it comes to this purpose, which you imagine yourself being, which you imagine yourself doing in the future. But right now I'm going to move on to prosperity for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know for their prosperity going forward in the month of February? Oh, so it looks like things aren't going the way that you'd hoped that they would in the realm of prosperity. Because you're worried. You're very worried about your future. Very worried about how things are going to pan out. It's something that wakes you up in the middle of the night. Um... But the Nine of Swords is, is always saying that things are not as bad as you think they are. They always say that. That, you, that you're blowing it out of proportion because it's something that you're thinking about when you're not in a good state. When we're, we, can't, we can't make healthy plans going forward if we're not in a state of trusting. That's another thing. We're not in a state of trusting. We're not in a state of deep connection with our higher self, with the universe, with God. We're in a state of fear. We're in a state of lack. That is all we're ever going to see if we don't, if we don't have faith and if we don't trust. That our path, that we are on the right path. Whatever, whatever place we're at right now, that's where we should be. That's where we need to be. And so the fear is actually an illusion the, when the reality is is the actual prosperity. Let's get some clarification for Pisces. Hey, what does Pisces need to know to help themselves in this state? Wow. Somebody you need to talk to? It's, there's there's a, a, a vibe of being afraid of communicating what your actual situation is. You, you, you seem to be very clear that your situation is a worrisome one, but maybe you need to talk about, talk about it to somebody. Maybe you need to start communicating what's going on. And then there's some, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of, a lot of people pulling on you. That five of, of wands is like, it's a bickering, confused kind of energy. So that, yeah, there's a lot of mental confusion we're going to look in, in the comprehensive Pisces, we're going to get a look at um, how to get clear and get some, some positive steps forward for you in how to come to a point of clarity with all of this confusion that's, that's going on in regards to your prosperity, your economic flow, and your health. It's all going to affect your health. If you're under a lot of stress, it, it negatively affects your immune system. It's, it's uh, pumping up your cortisol so that you're in a, st a state of fear. So that's really bad for your health. Um, and yeah, it's, in all ways, it's really bad for your health. So I really feel like these, like these swords, the swords and the knight of swords, are what's really affecting a lot of this stuff of the, 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 the purpose stuff. I feel like this like inadequacy, like if I don't have enough, if I can't prove that I'm successful, who am I to lead other people? Because the, the nine of pentacles is the leader. So you're saying like, if I'm confused about my own economic situation, who am I to lead other people in my area of purpose? So in order for you to feel safe and comforted and secure in these other aspects, you have to feel safe and comforted and secure in your prosperity. 
So we're going to look at that a little bit more in the comprehensive. So Pisces, finally, in the, the third aspect of my triad of awesomeness, we're going to look deeper into love. Love with yourself and love in connection with another. The moon. Yeah, so, so yeah. This what to leave behind has to do with a committed relationship. It has to do with deep the disillusion that you might have had. <laughs> disillusion that you might have had in a connection with another person. Like they're not showing up for you. This is the download that I'm getting. I get intuitive downloads for certain Pisces that need to hear it. That there's like a there's a disillusionment in connection with another person that's left you in a state of just really being down, really having the blues, not feeling so great. And it's like, how do I do this on my own? Of course you're going to be able to do this on your own. Of course we're always okay. Let's find out a little bit more about what we're going to go into in the comprehensive. What's going on here? I want I want a clear answer for love for Pisces. Really get myself into the energy of Pisces. What's forward for Pisces? How does Pisces? There's there's the healing. We have the moon and the star. So it's a dark night of the soul for Pisces right now when it comes to their self-love and their connection with other people. Oh, but what's on the other side is the star. It's the healing, it's the hope. It's there, right? And it's all coming from getting into, I love this, this mistress of the vineyard, the empress and the star are all these strong feminine energies that you have inside of yourself to be able to carry yourself into a higher state. Oh, a lovely, lovely state. So you have to get really get into your, your inner queen to know that you have the power to take charge of your own life. There's a there's like a there's a solemn quietness that's coming over me that I feel like I, I want to to send <laughs> to send via YouTube through the internet through the web. Here you go, Pisces. You are so beautiful. You have such wonderful ideas. You have so much to give. And if you've ever been with someone that couldn't take care of you the way that you took care of them. That, it does, that is not a reflection of who you are. That's a reflection of who they are. And so we're going to help Pisces find their path ahead. Help them find, find themselves in deep connection with their higher purpose that will put them in deep alignment. Once, once they find that, once they get really in touch with their higher purpose, have faith in who they are, the money is going to clarify, the love is going to come pouring back in. So, if we're, if this is it for us right now, I love you, Pisces. You're so wonderful and you have so much. The star is here, the empress is here, the nine of pentacles is here. This is all about your inner empowerment and it's not necessarily in connection with somebody else it's first in empowerment with yourself so you know that that's there so we're just going to look deeper in, in the comprehensive we're going to look deeper into how to get in touch with that but um if you want to know more in the description box below this video is the link to the vimeo that will go into the comprehensive into how we're going to get pisces into alignment there Okay, so that's it for the big February reading. I love you, Pisces. If we leave it here, I love you. Bye-bye.